Right guys, we have a new report regarding the A16 chip going into the iPhone 14 series being based on a 4 nanometer process. And so let's delve into this report, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so there was a previous report from the information stating that TSMC was finding difficulties producing chips with the 3 nanometer process that we were expecting the A16 to be based on. And well, as a result of the production issues, Digitimes believes we could see the A16 chip being based on the 4 nanometer process. Now, yes, I know Digitimes is not very credible, but this actually does make a ton of sense in my opinion, and let me explain why. And well, it's namely because Apple's been moving to a new manufacturing process every two years with their chips. For example, the A12 gave us the first 7 nanometer Apple chip, and that process was carried over to the A13. Then of course A14 came in with its new 5 nanometer process, and that was carried over to the A15 based on the 5 nanometer plus process. And so this year was supposed to be the big transition to 3 nanometers, which not only reduces the chip's physical footprint, but also improves the performance and the efficiency the silicon offers. And so staying at 5 nanometers with the iPhone 14 could result in Apple stagnating with the performance on the iPhone, which of course could result in the competition catching up and shrinking the performance gap. And yeah, that's really the main thing because as everyone knows, the A15 chip is a powerhouse, and if A16 was forced to be a minor improvement over the A15, that really would not be a massive issue. But the competition catching up is an actual issue for Apple, and so of course, moving to the 4 nanometer process should at least help Apple get some of those benefits they would have got with the 3 nanometer process. Now as for when we should see 3 nanometer chips, we should instead see this with the iPhone 15. So yeah, those are all the updates, but tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding iPhone SE 3. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.